how you find YouTube's. It is the Hoff, and today we have some car parts. So the first box I kind of already peeked in, but um, first box is going to be something that I'm not going to install because you'll see, and I'll explain just a little bit. But uh, I will show it off anyways, and then I will show it in the car in another video down the road after it is installed. Okay, so I will link to where you can buy these, and these are custom made, and this is for my Evo, it would sit like this, and it has two 52 millimeter gauge pods, and then you have your tack and speedometer there, and you should still be able to access all the buttons for the info button here, and the trip button there, but there you have it. Um, this one was 200, if I believe, 209 with the shipping and everything. And it is all custom made. Uh, the feel, it's all plasticky right here. It feels a little rough right here. But it's gonna hold gauges and it's gonna look more factory flush which is exactly what I wanted. And now on to this bad boy, which I will show it off, then I will skip ahead. Now, the reason that I won't be doing the install and other is just because I don't know how to install gauges and I don't have the gauges yet. I'm gonna be ordering those within the next two weeks, I believe it is. But I'm gonna be on, uh, I'm gonna be gone for work for two weeks. So with that in mind, I um, just wanted to make sure there was gonna be no issues. I don't wanna order something and have it stolen because it's just sitting on my porch and I don't want to um, order it and just let it sit here, so I figured I'll wait, but this I hope to have installed this weekend before I leave, but I just wanted to open that up and make sure that there's no big issues. So we have packing material, a whole bunch of it, and it just looks like they did peanuts inside of bags, which is really good, so you can just take out the bags. And then it looks like they did foam right here. So, what this is, is this is an ETS kit. Here is the, um, for connector, connecting on to the hoses, uh, ETS sticker, and instruction manual, and then here we have the intercooler itself. This is a four inch thick intercooler and it should not be with the logo. Nope, no logo on that side. And oh, let me stick this in. Hmm, I have to look this up because I could have sworn that besides these, I ordered the full kit, so I just want to need to look this up. Yes, no logo on this side. So, like I was hoping for, no logo either side, and this is pretty heavy. 
of an air cooler, but that will go on and I will be doing a little bit more research because the piping is not here and it was supposed to come with piping and there is none. So let me stop it here, figure that out. And then I will get back to you in just a minute. Hey, we're back guys. So here's an update. It is now two days later. I was able to contact right away after unboxing the first big box here on my left um, that it didn't have the piping. So I contacted ETS and I was really cool about it. They were really cool about it. So they said that they will fix it by sending it out for three days shipping because they asked when I was trying to do the install and I just told them I want to get it done by the weekend and it got delivered on a Monday I believe it was to the point where they were expecting to get it to me on Thursday and it's now Wednesday so let's open this up and verify the correct stuff that I was hoping to have in the first box is in this box so then I can go ahead and get my buddy to help me this weekend do the install. Because taking the bumper off and everything, I just want to make sure that nothing gets damaged. So I'm going to try to rip the bumper off myself and drop it and ding it up or anything like that. Don't need to do anything to your parts. Just because you don't want to get help. So I figured I will ask for help. So again, nice packaging. It looks like they, yep. So they probably have special material. I used to work with stuff like this before where they mix these two chemicals in and they let it foam up. But yes, we have the connectors and we have the hard piping. So, hard piping here, and we have all the connectors there, which looks like complete piping. It has front upper, long upper rear section, small lower, and long lower blow valve pipe with bracket. So, it is looking like everything's in here and they do an amazing job with the packaging. So, I will end it here and we will then transfer to the finished product because I uh, don't want to show a long video of an install that you might have already seen before. I just want to show you what it looks like when it's finally on. Okay, people. So install is complete everything works perfectly fine um there was a little bit of thing but it was on me where i didn't have some stuff tight but everything here is tight it is on where it needs to be as you can see um this right here i've noticed on a lot of them where for some reason this piping just doesn't completely line up and it's just a little off but as long as the couplers stay tight and go there and then down there and you can see the big old one and my garage is a mess. I have to clean it when I get back. But there's the old small crappy stuff and here is the new stuff. Now for me, um, I didn't want the logo showing. I kind of want to make it look more factory but there's also the fact that I think this is the last performance type upgrade that I'll do. Um, just end up getting the tune and well, I should say the gauges and then go ahead and get it tuned. And after that, I believe I will call it quits and work on trying to pay this car down and pay off a credit card I have and then go for what I really want, which is a GTR. Cause my idea is I want around 500 to 600 horsepower. And if I go for like a 2013 GTR, I can have that horsepower right off the bat 
and just change out the exhaust and maybe rims to make it look a little nicer on the rims. Exhaust for the sound and it does give some performance and I will basically have what I want in the horsepower range and it will be still all wheel drive. I will have some great stuff as far as features with it as well that I have in this car. This car is maybe a little more when it comes to radio but that radio will have gauges and all this other stuff that this one won't have. So that is my plan for the next two to three year mark. And of course, every subscriber helps, every view helps, watching ads, clicking ads helps me out. So I thank you guys for watching and I thank you guys for subscribing and everything that you guys do along with me on this journey. And I think the next thing to do is go and I'll be out of town for two weeks. And then I gotta tackle cleaning up this garage and start making it look more like a garage for a car guy. So some of this stuff is gonna be elsewhere and some of this stuff is going to be trashed in the garage and better organized. So I will see you guys next time.